everyone. Well, with all this talk of Interactor Brokers and being the greatest and best platform for trading, I thought I would take a couple minutes and just show you how it works. So what you're looking at is the Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. And Trader Workstation is a Java application that you can download and install on your computer. And this is what we use to interact with the markets. Uh, this is also in the background, for, for those of you that are a little bit more technical, in the background it's actually exposing a, it's a, it's a web server. And it's exposing a port that when we use the API with Python, the Python API is actually talking to this, what you're looking at. It's actually talking to the open port, um, listening on whatever port you specify, uh, and it routes orders from your API through this platform to the market. Uh, in the meantime, though, before we get into the API and, and actually interacting with this programmatically, uh, as one of the very first steps when we are trading algorithmically, we want to make sure that we're watching what's happening in real time. Uh, so in a previous video, I showed you how to actually uh, execute orders, and this is what we go deep in the course, but it's important to watch that happen in real time on the screen. And that's because you want to make sure you're getting fills, um, you're, you're seeing what you think you're seeing in your code, you're actually seeing it happen in real life. The problem is that the default screen is a little bit crap. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use it in the way that I use it personally for my trading, uh, and also a couple things that you, you should know. So first of all, um, when you change a ticker symbol, what's really cool is that all of the windows that are related to a ticker symbol actually update. So you can see here I'm changing the order entry screen from SPY to Meta, and at the same time, this window down here is also changing um, too. So that's super useful if you have a bunch of uh, windows that are open all looking at uh, stock information or asset information. Um, this works with other asset classes as well. So if you were to do CL for futures, it searches for CL. So Colgate Palm Olive is a sticker symbol, but you also have the futures contracts here too. Um, so that loads. Uh, let me close that. And the other thing to note is that you can unlock this and okay, and move some stuff around. So let's say I want more news. We can raise this up and move that there. Let's say I don't need so much room for my orders. Raise that up, All right? And then we'll lock it again. Cool. The other thing that you can do, and this is my favorite part about Interactive Brokers, is just endless information. You go to Start, New Window, here's all the different windows that we have access to. Toolboxes, charts, order management, time and sales, scanners for you Forex folks, fundamentals information, the events calendar, news, options, options analytics, advanced options tools. I'm a big options person, so this is always super exciting for me. Cool thing is that strategy builder, volatility lab, volatility trader, ah, stuff that really gets me going. Um, bunch of templates, portfolio tools, more advanced tools, and on and on and on. So lots of different options that we have. Um, but the problem is like, there's so much, you don't even know what to look at. Like, what should I actually spend my time doing? So, you know, having been doing this for a very long time, I've spent most of my time trying to figure out exactly what I want to look at. And the good news is that Interactive Brokers gives you a super easy way to get just what you need very quickly. So I'm going to move myself to the other side. And at the bottom here, you say plus. And you can create a new custom layout or you can browse the layout library. So I'm going to hit browse. And these are all the different layout libraries that you can start with. And they have them uh, broken out by different functionality. So algo tools. Um, if you need research notes, the algo tool, scale trader. So if you are trying to break up a lots of really big orders into small orders, uh, you can use order slicing using the accumulate d distribute algorithm, uh, et cetera. Uh, like for futures traders, you got news markets, company research and analyst research. So for me, I'm an options person. So I'm going to go to the options and super easy. Just going to click options trading and click add layout and boom. We have our options trading screen. Uh, and in my case here, I've got uh, the, the, the volatility skew. And this is, I mean, there's a lot that I could be looking at, but ultimately this is all I need to look at. I've got my portfolio down here. I've got my, my volatility analysis down here. So these are the different uh, skews across strikes. You can also look at, uh, let me open this up a bit. 
I love the volatility stuff, so I, I usually look at that pretty big. Lock that up. Um, save. So then you can select which different expirations you want. Um, add days, not days. Today, we see what it looks like tomorrow, uh, etc. You can also find up here somewhere the uh, volatility term structure. So what we're looking at now is the SKU, which is implied volatility across strike price. And the term structure is implied volatility across expiration date. Uh, for now, we're looking at SKU. Uh, unlock this again. And then, of course, up here we have our options chains. Um, on and on and on. So here's the different expirations and tabs. Lots of, lots of different um, ability to change the screens, to customize. And let's do one more. Stock scanner, that's a really good one too. So let's add this layout. And uh, Interactive Brokers comes with lots of different scanners. So another part of the challenge is if you are a stock trader, lots of different stocks that you can get in trouble with, right? So the first step is always to narrow down the universe of what you care about. Um, so here up on the top, you can see all of the different types of instruments. Um, so let's just say US equity ETFs traded on the NASDAQ cap. Let's just take this out. Ooh, a little hard to see. Let's say price is greater than, you know, $25. We can add a filter. So here's all the different filters that we have access to. Um, I mean, really complicated stuff like one year alpha. We've, I saw covariance here. Um, I think I scanned by it pretty quickly. Um, Technical indicators, fundamental indicators, ESG, bull, bull beta, I don't even know what that means, PE data, uh, so options, so 13 week, um, you can look at, if you're looking at options, you can say historical volatility over implied volatility, so this is a really great way to find um, unusual options activities, again, lots of stuff. So we're going to skip that, say okay, and then we have our list, um, let's see what we got. Hmm. Oops, search. There we go. So these are equity ETFs that trade on NASDAQ with a price greater than $25. Um, yeah, this, this scanner, maybe not so interesting, <laughs> but you can see all the options here that we have uh, that are available to us in the way that we want to scan down or, or, or search for stocks in the, the broader universe. Cool. Hopefully that was helpful getting a lot done on this course. Super excited for you guys to see what we've got going. We've got a, a special offer coming up very soon. Um, so keep a lookout in your email and on your social media for that. Take care.